Good morning, everyone. I'm Robin from Garden State So and So, and I was tagged by Lash's Homestead. Thank you so much. It really made my day. I was really surprised. I honestly didn't think anybody would think of me, and I just want to make sure I say thank you. Um, this. Uh, 40 Questions is being given by Linda at New Orleans Gardener, or The New Orleans Gardener, I'm sorry, um, or New Orleans, as I hear uh, people say it differently than we do. Um, so I will read and answer all 40 questions, and then at the end, I will tag people and then if they want to they can copy all of the questions and answer those um say that it was given by linda at the new orleans gardener and that garden state so and so uh tagged you so again Lasha's Homestead tagged me, and I'm going to start the questions. Do you have pets? Yes, I have four dogs. I have one cat. Um, I have ten chickens. And I have two parakeets. Number two, are you in a relationship? Yes, I've been married for... 38 years, I believe. Um, do you drink alcohol? No. I wish I did sometimes, but I don't. Uh, do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Hot dogs or cheeseburgers? Hmm. It used to be hamburgers or cheeseburgers. But lately, I think I like hot dogs. And uh, with either one, <clears throat> I have never really eaten them on a bun. Uh, occasionally I will, but I usually like my hot dogs and cheeseburgers just on the plate with no bun. Number six, favorite food. Um, that would be steak. Um, what do you drink in the AM? I drink coffee. Can you do 100 push-ups? Um, probably not. I, uh, I know. Mm -mm. Especially if I had to do them the correct way or what used to be the the way that I was taught in school. Now, I might be able to do more if I did the ones that you're on your knees and I might be able to do more that way, but no, I cannot do 100 either way. Favorite season of the year, that summer. I love summer, I know it's hot. I just love summer. Um, favorite hobby, it would be gardening, <clears throat> excuse me again, the allergies from the spring. Um, favorite hobby is gardening, but I also quilt, I'm a quilter, um, I like to knit and crochet, I love to read books and listen to books, um, But gardening, I think, is my favorite. Um, Eleven, do you have any tattoos? No. My daughter has been trying to talk me into it for at least ten years. But I have not yet. Do you wear glasses? Yes, I have wear, wear glasses. Um, do you have any phobias or fears? I do. I am scared to death of spiders. 
um, Jess from Roots and Refuge has repeated several times that you need to leave them in the garden. So, um, instead of uh, doing bad things, I <laughs> I will walk away for a while and hopefully it'll go away. Um, but as the summer goes on, I get a little bit more used to seeing them and I, it, it doesn't bother me as bad towards the end of the summer, but then I have to start all over again every summer. So I am afraid of spiders. Um, that would probably be the biggest thing that I'll mention. Um, do you have a nickname? I've had a lot of nicknames over the years. Um, uh, my family called me Robbie. My name is Robin. Uh, my family and my, my best friend still calls me Robbie. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> that was my nickname. And then my husband has a lot of nicknames for me. One is uh, Bunches, <laughs> and it came from, he said I was his Honey Bunches of Oats. So it, he, then it got shortened to hunt, uh, Bunches. He saw a caveman cartoon, um, and the, the, male, the man called his wife uh, Bubula Wudgy. So then I got named Bubula. Um, <laughs> um, he calls me dearest, uh, that, that's about it, except for, you know, my, my kids, they, my daughter, I'm just mom to her, my son Joey calls me, um, Mumsy, and my oldest, he calls me just Ma, so I guess they're kind of nicknames. Um, that's about it. Um, favorite candy. I'm not really a candy person. Um, but when I was a teenager, I guess, I really liked those red fishies. We called them fishies, but they're red and, um, they're good. I like those. Uh, 16, do you believe in ghosts? Um, probably, yeah. I may not call them ghosts. I'd probably call them spirits or... Maybe not ghosts, but spirits. Okay, 17, rain or snow? Uh, in the winter time, I guess I'd rather have snow. I guess that's the only time you'd get snow, but, um, is in the winter. But, uh, <laughs> I, I meant pretty much that I don't like cold rainy days. It would be nicer if it was just snow. Um, but... I don't like either one, actually. Um, okay, 18, any piercings? Yes, I have uh, three in this year and three in this year. Um, they've been in there since I was probably 14. I, I pretty much only use one now, and that's about it. Age, hmm. It all depends. Um, pretty much. Well, they say you you're only as old as you feel, so I'm probably about seventeen now. 
18 maybe. But I was born 53 years ago. Uh, and I will be, it'll be 54 years ago this month. Okay, uh, number 20, French fries or onion rings. French fries, and preferably that I cut them up and uh, make them myself. They're the, they're the best, they're my favorite, homemade French fries. Uh, 21, do you have children? Yes, I have three, two boys and a girl. And I have two grandchildren that call me Gaga. So that's another kind of a nickname because it's not grandma, it's Gaga. Um, my favorite color, that would be pretty much any blue. I, I love blue. 23, can you sing? <laughs> no, no. Uh, can you whistle? No. I tried. I cannot. Um, where were you born? I was born in New Jersey. Do you have any siblings? I had a sibling until two years ago. Um, he passed away from glioblastoma uh, brain cancer. But I still consider myself to have a brother. And I... So... I think he's with me. So yes, I have a brother. 27, can you cook? Yes, I can cook. Uh, do I? Not all the time. I don't really like to cook. I don't, but I, I can cook. 28, can you swim? Yes, I can swim. I don't even remember learning so I, I I know I've known how to swim as long as I can remember um shower or bath I'd rather have a shower uh city or nature definitely nature um are you a good friend I think I am <laughs> I'll have to ask my friends. But yeah, I think I am. Uh, any broken bones? I have broken my toes. And that's about it. I uh, My kids had left. Um, <laughs> they think it's funny. I guess it's funny now. But they left their toys on the steps. And I went down. And my big toe broke and then it broke all the way down the big toe and then it went all the way down my foot that that bone that goes down your foot broke that was oof. okay 34 worst pain ever um I've had three C-sections in a row, and right after giving birth to my first son, um, I had to go back in to have surgery to have my gallbladder removed, um, and that was right before they came out with the laser, um, or or this whatever kind of surgery it was that was an easier type of surgery. Um, I had to have the full, great big cut down, and that was very, very painful um, after having a baby. Uh, so yeah, C-section, gallbladder together was my worst pain. Um, do you like to dance? Only by myself, not in front of people. <laughs> it wouldn't be good. Uh, 
camping or hotel. When I was younger, it would have been camping. Now, I think I'd rather be in a hotel. Um, 37, do you think you're weird? Yes, I'm definitely weird. Definitely. Anybody will tell you that I am. Um, 38, how long have you been gardening? Uh, I used to help out with my nana's and my dad's gardens um, growing up. Uh, I gardened on and off after I had gotten married and we bought our house. Um, I only had a tomato plant. And then um, our next house, I had about four tomato plants and probably four pepper plants. Um, and then we moved here and I've had several different gardens. Um, and now it's uh, being all redone again. Um, with raised raised up garden beds instead of in ground. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, where did, where did, where am I now? Okay, if you can grow any one thing in your garden, what would it be? Definitely tomatoes. Because I, I cook so many different things with them. I love them. I love tomato sandwiches. I love tomatoes, you know, spaghetti sauce, tomato gravy, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did try uh, making my own ketchup and I wasn't real happy with it. So I do want to find a different recipe for that. Um, my family, I've never found anybody who make made this recipe before um uh but it's called our family called it tomato and milk gravy i love it my daughter loves it she wants to come over every time i make it my husband eats it but he's not crazy about it and my boys don't like it um but it i think was considered um one of the poor man's meals and you make it the same exact way you would make um dry beef milk gravy which you know it has another name around new jersey but i don't really want to say it um you might know what it is and uh But anyway, you would make it the same exact way or pretty much the same way. Maybe I'll just make it this year if nobody knows what it is or if anybody's even interested in knowing what it is. But it's just creamy tomatoes uh, on top of buttered toast. And you just eat it. It's so good. I love it. Did not like it at all when I was a kid. But anyway, I make a lot of things with tomatoes. So it would definitely be a tomato. Um, number 40. And the last one is, what is your grow zone? I am in zone 7A in New Jersey. And then, I have to pick some people to... Three, four, five, six. Uh, to tag content creators, you have to you have to um, tag content creators, and it says five, but I've seen several people do more than five, just in case someone doesn't want to do it, or you know, because I only have I, I'm very very small and the chances of anybody even seeing it. I'll just do a few more than what I'm supposed to do. And uh, I just, I had an idea that I would um, 
pick seven people that I normally communicate with and then seven people that are kind of famous uh, that I'd like to hear from and uh, it probably won't ever happen and they'll probably never see it um, but it would be fun to try and hear what they their answers are and I've seen several really big um, channels answering the questions, but I, I really don't know if these people have already done one or not, but I'll just tag them, and that's another reason I'll do a few more than what I'm supposed to, because I don't know if they've already done it or not. Now, I know that um, some others that I really like um, have already done theirs, and, uh, you know, like um, Littlefoot Ranch and Nicole Smith, and uh, uh, Gail at Gail Southern Living, uh, they've all done theirs, and I, I really like them. Um, so I won't be tagging them, um, but okay. So the first person I'm going to tag is Christy at the Homesteader Wannabe. And then Malisha, or I'm sorry, Melanesha at Just Homesteading. Heather at Tomatoes, Poppies, and Tomatoes and Poppies and Everything Gardening. Kara at Bluebird Homestead. Megan, the Fireside Farm. Lee our backyard garden and Indiana backyard gardener Barbara a gardener's journey homestead Casey at Boots and Bounty homestead she'll probably never see it and neither will T at Beauty in the Garden <laughs> and Cassandra from Becoming a Farm Girl. Tiffany from Team Benson's Desert Garden. 90% na uh, native. I'd love to hear from Dom at Faith Family Homestead. And Anna at Fermented Homestead. Fermented Homestead. It's crazy. I would never expect to hear from any of them but it would be fun to try I, it's fun to try <laughs> so thank you very very much again to linda at the new orleans gardener and to La, La, lasha's homestead lasha at lasha's homestead um i just i'm just so grateful um she made my day and Thank you, Lasha. Have a great night or day because it's actually morning. So have a great morning, everyone, and enjoy gardening. Remember to spread kindness and joy and plenty of seeds. Good night. I'm going to bed.